Education Math Teachers. Today we are going to be looking at creating transformations on a coordinate plane. Um, if you're going to create like a resource or a worksheet or a quiz or test for your um, students. And so I've kind of set up a pre um, pre idea here for you. Um, let's say that you're going to have students um, interpret a transformation on a coordinate plane and you want them to describe what happens to figure A, B, C, D. So I've given myself some teacher notes over here off to the side, which I will delete once I'm done. But if not, it ends up not being a big deal because it doesn't print onto the paper when it's off of the slide. So the first thing I do is I insert the points by putting in little circles. Um, and I try to get them the same size, um, usually 0 0.05, oh goodness, by 0 0.05. And then I fill it black and I outline it black. And then my first point is at 6, 8, so I go to 6, 8, and I put my point there. And then I do control C, control V, and I go to point B is at negative three, eight. And you can use the cursor to kind of more perfectly align it onto the grid if it's not. And then control C, control V for point C, which is at negative one, zero, right there on the X axis. And again, and I'm at four, two. Now, I would probably zoom in to be a little bit more precise with where I'm putting these, and I perhaps might make the points just a tiny bit bigger. Um, and actually, now that I'm looking at it, I would think I'd like to do that. So let's just make these big for um, sake of this tutorial so that we can see everything very easily. Then from here, I've got kind of an awkward quadrilateral. Um, it's not regular. If I go to insert shape, there is no thing in any preset shape that matches what I have, um, which is fine because I've got this free form and I can just click right in the middle of each of the dots and it will create the exact shape a b c d that i'd like then i do a no fill a black outline make it your preferred weight and then you have your shape i also will label my points a b c d i adjust the font size and a was here Control C, Control V, change to B. Again, we need point C and point D. And I would kind of play with these to make sure that they are visible. Um, now I need to make the transformation so that my students, and actually what I should have done before I labeled the points because I should have grouped these together so that I have one image. Um, now I need to make a copy of this and reflect it across the X axis. To do that, I'm going to do control Z, control V, and then I'm going to do this rotate and there's actually a flip vertical. And then I just slide it down here to the exact location of where it should be. And I'm going to run out of time. Um, and so I would also bring down my A with an A prime um, and label all of the points opposite the new prime image points. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.